Hi, I'm Larry Richardson, the founder of Sea Level Rise Real Estate.com and the author of seven Sea Level Rise Real Estate Questions for Buyers, Sellers, Owners, and Real Estate Agents. And this video, which is among many videos posted on my website, we're going to deal with king tides as sea level rise stress testers. And what I mean by this is we just entered our king tide period, which means the sun and the moon are aligned just right, creating extra gravitational pull. So we're gonna have extra high tides off and on from pretty much September, maybe into January, which means a lot of neighborhoods that are flooding right now due to these king tides will continue to flood periodically throughout that entire period. Now other contributing factors in addition to the king tides, we have sea level rise, which is gradually raising up the tide baseline and increasing the extent of the floods. And occasionally we have tropical storms off the coast that push a little bit extra water inland. And in our area in South Florida, that usually means the water goes into our inlets, it goes into the intracoastal waterway, and it raises the water up a little bit more during this king tide period. Now, what I mean by stress test in this process is that the areas, the communities that are impacted by king tide and sea level rise driven flooding, these areas will be obviously flooding off and on between now and January. So you can see with your own eyes whether your community is dealing effectively with the problem. This is important because the other months, the other six or seven months of the year, these neighborhoods might be high and dry. You wouldn't know that they flooded at all. Now, some people will tell you that normal is that time of year when the um, neighborhoods and properties are dry, the roadways are dry, and flooding is not a problem. To me, that doesn't quite make sense because if they're wet and they're flooding and salt water is a problem on the roads, on properties, and maybe even in people's houses, that's really the normal situation. And as the sea levels continue to rise, it's getting worse and worse. So what I'm saying is people need to know what is going on in their communities because it will impact them. For property owners, it's going to impact you in terms of property maintenance. It might impact you in terms of your road flooding, getting in and out of your property might be a great inconvenience. You're going to face higher insurance premiums if you keep on flooding. And you also might have higher taxes because someone, your community, has to deal with this problem. They have to come in and they have to raise up roads, they have to raise up seawalls, they have to deal with the uh, water and sewer pipes and any other critical infrastructure that is affected by salt water intrusion. Now, it's not just you that this problem impacts. People in the entire community should stay aware of what's going on with sea level rise and flooding because their taxes and insurance can be impacted. They will also have to pay for those improvements made to protect critical infrastructure. And then on the insurance side, usually the insurance is going to go up in a community that's impacted, not just a specific property. And mainly because the water sooner or later will end up spilling over and becoming a problem for the wider community. So that's what I mean by king tide sea level rise stress test. This is when you go out and you take a look and when you gather information on what's going on in your community. Now, communities are dealing with the problem in different ways. Some of them are trying to ignore it altogether. I mean, that doesn't really work because the, the, the sea level rise water, the flood waters, it doesn't care whether you pay attention or not. It's coming. It's coming and people have to have a sense of it. So that's pretty much what, um, what this episode is about. And the next episode, what we're going to talk about is what do you need to know about your community's approach to sea level rise flooding? In my community, they're mainly working on it by raising up seawalls. And they've had, um, they've had some real problems with that, to tell you the truth. 
and I think it's something that people need to know. And it's something you probably need to know in your own community if it's experiencing sea level rise flooding. But we'll talk about that in the next episode. So again, I'm Larry Richardson, and I look forward to seeing you the next time around.